Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Almedril. In this video, I'm going to upgrade the RAM in my home lab to 128 gigabytes. So for that, and I'm using, this is my lab. This is VMware XE. You might have only Windows 11, Windows 10, another lab. I'm just showing you what I have. So these are the um, virtual machines I have in my lab. I'm using XE VMware. And this is the one, th these are the ones that I use almost daily. So um, we are going to go to host and you can see all the characteristics of this machine. This is a Dell Autoplex 7090. I have done a video in the past on which I upgrade the BIOS version for this model. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen for that video. So you can see the CPU over there and below that, there is the RAM. As you can see, currently I have 64 gigabytes and we're going to increase it to 128. So for that end, I'm going to use two memory sticks over here. The brand is Kingston. You can use any one you want, but I have used Kingston in the past and it, it just works and is very reliable. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you're interested for this. So as I mentioned before, uh, I'm going to use two. Each one is 32 gigabytes. This is DDR4. I forgot to mention that. And this, these are the two that we are going to install on this Dell Optiplex 7090. So now, now that we know what we're going to do, we're going to shut down the machine, shut down. And we're going to wait a few seconds for it to complete um, the, the process. And after that, well, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera because I'm going, we are going to start, we're going to go to the machine itself right there so this is the machine i'll have a few seconds to adjust it well and now i'm going to show you so as you can see this is the dell optiplex 7090 the one that we just saw a few seconds ago now we're i'm going to proceed to open it and uh, well i'm going to disconnect the power first and i already discharged myself of any static electricity that i might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds that way i don't damage the circuitry so let me show you around this is the fan for the processor over here this is the hard drive um, this is the the power supply for this machine so we have to remove this part because the ram and the ssd is below this so in this model you have to remove these latches over here this cover like that and now we have the classic on dell or hp uh the locked over here so i'm going to unlock it and i uh, i just have to pull this up very simple like that and here we can see uh, you can this is the cd dvd reader and we have four slots for ram currently we're using two as you can see over here this is the one of the ram modules that i'm going to install it's very simple we have two available so the maximum capacity as of today is 128 gigabytes for this model so in the future it may be more or maybe a ram update not a ram update um what, what, what i say a bios update so i'm going to proceed to install it. it's very simple i'm going to push it down and you can hear the clicks so that means it's attached correctly. So I'm going to do the same with this, uh, with the other RAM module. For a few seconds, I forgot how to <laughs> install it. Uh, so once I remember how to do it, so I did exactly the same. So like that, you heard the clicks. And now we are going to put back everything as it was before. So we're going to attach the cover over here. And we're going to add the main cover so we're going to uh, connect it back to the power like that and now um, in this model the, the fan turns on for a few seconds so uh, I wait that out the video is sped up in this part so you don't have to wait for that to happen and now I'm going to turn on the machine so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and this is going to take a few minutes to actually re start up the machine so the video is sped up in this part you can see at the top left it's spinning very fast so you don't have to wait it took like i don't know three minutes or so so while we're waiting this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet that really helps the channel a lot so thank you thank you very much so after that i'm going to refresh it again and now i have access one more time so i'm going to log in I know I don't want to save my password here, so we are back where we started. So you can see the same multiplex, the same model multiplex uh, 7090, the CPU over there, and now the RAM is 128 gigabytes. 
and you can see the process or I, I don't know why I did that so that's the process of upgrading your RAM from 64 or whatever it is to 128 you you have to have the slots available of course on the machine itself so maybe you want to watch one of these videos now thank you very much for watching if you if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always as you know I'll see you in the next video